What is wrong with the world, Paul? Well, I ask useless questions. How deep is the ocean? How high is the sky? Who is John Galt? I don't know if we really are going to know who John Galt is by the end of this. I don't know if I should tell you. I don't know if I want to tell you. Who's John Galt? Who are you? Who is John Galt? Is what Atlas Shrugged is. How who's John Galt came to be, it's hard to give it a kind of a single interpretation. In Ayn Rand's Atlas Shrugged, uh, the phrase who is John Galt has become a cultural touchstone for futility and hopelessness. It's a world where everything is going wrong and no one seems to know why. Why ask who is John Galt? Who cares? What are you going to do? A meaning that's reflective of what's going on in society. Where is our hope? Or, or why are we in such a hopeless situation? The heroine, Dagny Taggart, is aggravated by the hopeless futility that is infusing the world that she's trying to save. And so the question, who is John Galt, uh, haunts her. She wants to throw that hopelessness and futility back in the world's face. What Dagny doesn't know is that the actual answer to the question, who is John Galt, is both going to frustrate her plans to save a collapsing world, yet also show her the true key to how to really save the world. Is there any real John Galt? I, I sure hope there are. Boy, we need a few. The political philosophy that inspired Rand to write this novel and to imagine the character of John Galt are unfortunately still alive all around us. This is a philosophy that says that uh, government has the right and the power to shape our lives, uh, dictate our lives, uh, take from us the fruits of our labor uh, in order to pursue what they think of as a good goal. The character of John Galt and the question who is John Galt encapsulates the fight against that philosophy and it's a fight that is as relevant, if not sadly more relevant now than it was when Ayn Rand wrote Atlas Shrugged. I think John Galt is, is sort of like all the great embodiments of all the great characters that she's written about. An example and leadership of what we all should be like. That spirit, the spirit of the individual that, will, that, that can rise and that can achieve anything if given the platform. The force of the individual, the individual against the state. The ultimate romantic realization of Ayn Rand's vision of the perfect man, perfectly rational, perfectly brilliant, perfectly productive.